Hi, my name is Jim from howtobuildablog.net and in this video I'm going to show you how to add AdSense uh, real quickly. So the first thing you got to do is get into your AdSense account and I'm assuming that you already have an account and you logged in and you're in your home uh, on your home page. I don't have any AdSense ads running right now that's why you see a bunch of zeros here. But what you need to do is go into my ad ads. We're creating a new one, so we're not going to be using any existing ones. Add new ad unit. Give it a title. I'm just going to go real simple. I'm real creative, as you can tell. Then you can choose one of those. Or you can go down to recommended and let's go with uh, with vertical banners or the upside down guys and I'm going to go with uh, we'll go with 300 by 600 maybe a little bit too wide for my site but we'll go with that one next how do you want to display it you have several options you can go to text and display ads that's the ones where they show pictures like with your ads or text only We'll just go with both of these. Uh, style. You have various styles. Uh, this is the fault is typically what people use. And this is what it's going to look like. You can change all the colors, the backgrounds in it if you like. Uh, you can play with the custom channels I don't you can play with the backups I don't but you can open it up or click right here and it'll tell you about it I'm not sure if you can see it but anyway uh, you can show blanks or you can show something else so I'm just gonna show blanks and then save it and get your code okay once you get your code uh, you just uh, copy it uh, first of all, you can use Asynchronous, which they recommend, or if you're a student of Marcus Campbell's, he recommends this one right here, Synchronous. I'm going to go with what uh, Google recommends. Again, you can click on these and uh, it'll tell you the difference. So I'm going to copy it. You can use Control-C, Charlie, or you can use your mouse and copy it here, either place. Now you go over to your, I leave it open because I need to come back to it. Now you go to your website and we're going to go into the dashboard and we're going to add it right here. So we'll go down to uh, widgets and we're just going to, for this example, we're just going to add a new text box. And then you can put a title if you like. I don't. I normally put it down here to eliminate the space. So we'll just go country V like in Victor, or you could use your mouse and paste it either way. And then you come down here. You have the option what pages you want it on. All pages, or you can select the page, or you could uh, uh, accept the selection. Can't pronounce that word. I'm just going to use all pages and then make your changes and then uh, go up here and view your site. Now you're going to notice there's nothing here. And that's because it takes a little while for something to show up. So I'm going to pause the tape for a moment and then uh, uh, when it comes shows then I'll come back back in. Okay. I'm back recording and it took almost five to six minutes for AdSense to show up. Uh, we picked 300 by 600 and my sidebar is only 250 wide so that is why it's way out here. I could have, when we were in uh, uh, AdSense I could have picked a, a custom uh, size. Anyway, that's how you add AdSense to your uh, um, 
to your website. If you click the refresh, which you can't see it uh, on the camera or the recording, by the time you refresh, it should change to something else. Not always. Uh, see, it changed. So anyway, uh, with respect, uh, and then it doesn't always show. It's going to take a while um, coming in and out of this thing before it has an idea of what your website is like. Is like. So you'll always see a lot of uh, ads that has nothing to do with your with your website. Also, Google now looks at your your activity and uh, whatever you've been looking at recently, they'll display that there instead of what's on your site. Also, they'll look at the uh, activity of the visitor. And if your visitor was looking at, uh, uh, let's say, their credit score, then uh, different credit scores, for example, your ads may be full of uh, uh, credit score stuff. And again, not necessarily about your your website, which kind of is a bummer in my opinion. Anyway, that's a quick review, not review, but a quick um, uh, overview how to add AdSense to your website. Again, I'm Jim from howtobuildablog.net.